Have you ever wondered how you can share a map you've made with the world without needing to share uh, your data with them? Well, there's a really easy way to do that now. It's an online map platform called Belt, and they have a plugin for QGIS I'm gonna show you about. So let's get started by installing that plugin. Let's go over to Plugins, Manage and Install Plugins. You're gonna get this window to pop up here. I'm gonna to go to All, and I'm going to search for Felt. And I want this Add to Felt plugin, and I'm going to install that plugin. Now, Felt um, is a free service. It's going to be paid at the beginning of the year, but there's still a free version. It's not open source, but it does um, use open source libraries because they have a free version and because this is just so useful, I'm gonna do a video on it. So we've got this plugin installed. I'm gonna close it. Now, well, you can find this plugin right here. This is on the web toolbar. So you can go to view and toolbars and turn on the web toolbar here. Or you can go to web here and find felt there. Now, we can't do anything yet because we have no layers added in. So let's go in and let's go ahead and add a layer in. And I'm gonna add in this layer that I've created down here called Union. And this is a layer that I actually generated for a course I'm making called Next Level QGIS Mastering Spatial Analysis. So if you wanna get that course, check out or sign up for the email list in the link below and you'll be notified when it comes out. It should be within the next month. It's gonna do some great spatial analysis in QGIS. But now let's get back to Felt. So here's this map. It's a buffer um, of riparian areas or a buffer of streams for part of the Colorado River Basin. And it is, let me show you. Let's go and we'll add in some context here with uh, OpenStreetMap. And let's go and adjust these layers a little. So there's where it is spatially. And let's just adjust our simple fill. Um, our fill style is solid. Let's have our stroke style, style be no line so that we can actually see the colors here. So there you can see that. And I'm gonna change this to categorize real quick just to show you um, what this looks like. And we'll categorize it based on county name and we'll classify it and perfect. So now you can see that this is dissolved um, or unionized union by county. So we can see the portion of the watershed that falls in each county. And let's say now that I have this, I want to share this online um, because there's some important data here. For example, if I open up the attribute table, um, I have the area in square meters of riparian area for each county for this watershed. And that's something that might be important for watershed managers, for you know county commissioners. Maybe there's some funding coming. We want to set out to divide that up. This could be important information to have. So now I want to share this, but I don't want to have to download or you know, upload the data to an email and send it all out or find a way to share that data and then sort of create a map and symbolize it the same way I did to get the data. This is where felt comes in and it's super handy. So we're gonna use this add to felt. So I'm gonna to go to web, felt, I'm gonna click add to felt. Now, the first time you do this, I'm gonna close this. If you go to web, felt, I'm gonna log out here so I can just show you what it looks like to sign in. So I go to web, felt, I wanna sign in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click log in. It's going to pop up a new screen over here. Um, it's going to take you through to establish your account or to, um, create, to, to create an account or to log into your account, which has happened automatically here because I've used this already. When you're done with that, you'll come to this page. And now that I have that, I can go to web felt. I can click add to felt. And it's gonna ask you what I wanna do. You can see there's some example maps here I can add it to. I'm gonna create a new map. I'm just gonna select this here and I'll click add to felt. Okay. And so this is gonna take a little while to export and to add to felt. Um, but once it does, we will have it available. Um, so I'm gonna pause this while it finishes uploading. And then once that's done, we'll have a little button here that says open map and we'll be able to open that in felt. All right, so that's finished uploading. We can click Open Map now. That will open a new tab in your web browser. Let's get that full screen. Okay, and now you can see that it's gonna take a minute to process this layer. 
you can see that I'm logged in here. Um, once this is in processing, our map will appear here in Felt. Um, I'll just say real quick that this is my first video on Felt. I'm going to be doing a couple of other tutorials on Felt, largely because I think it's such an easy way to learn GIS and to get started with GIS. Um, and like I said, they have a free they have a free platform, a free version. So if you're just getting started out, this is a great way to start learning without needing to download software or worry about some of those things. So if you want to see those videos, just go ahead and subscribe to the email list and you'll get notified when they come out. In the meantime, I'll pause this while this um, continues its processing and we'll come back to see the map. All right, and our map's finished processing, so it's loaded up. Now let's go ahead and we can symbolize this. So we can go to uh, edit our layer here. We can change the name. We can do um, riparian area by county. And we can come in and change the style from simple to categories. And we can color it based on our county name. And we can use this color scheme if we'd like to. And then we can adjust the opacity. We can adjust the stroke um, separately from uh, the fill if we'd like to. So we can take that down so it just shows the riparian areas like that. We can bring it back up to uh, 0.5 or let's go to 1 again where it was at. So there we go. Okay, so now we have our riparian area. You can see that we have our counties listed here. We can turn, uh, we can show only a certain county if we're interested in that county, or we can turn off a certain county um, if we're interested in specific ones. Okay, we can zoom in and those features will render nicely again. Okay, so great. So we have that, but now let's say I've made this map and um, now, I want to get some information about it. You can see that if I click on, let me just click off here. If I click on a feature, I'll get the hand pointer. I can click on a feature and I can get all the attribute information so I can see the area in square meters here. But let's say I wanted some additional context. I want to overlay the actual county boundaries on top of this. We can do that also. Let's go back to QGIS. Let's close this. Let's go to our browser and here, I should also have um, the counties. And this should give us just the counties for that area. So let's pull those counties in. There we go. And now we can add these counties to our map with felt. So if we go to web, felt, click add to felt. You see we have the option to make a new map or we can add it to an existing map. So I'll just click on the map I already created and I'll add that to felt. And we'll pause this again while it uploads. Actually, while that's uploaded, let's go over to felt again. Oops, wrong thing. Let's go over to felt again, and let's change our map name. Let's change this to um, Colorado River Riparian Areas by County. And I'm going to put a 1404 up here because that is a four-digit hut for this area. And then that map will be uh, better contextualized. We'll go back to QGIS and we'll pause this while we finish uploading our map. Okay, so there we go. We can just pull up our map over here. You can see that it's processing that new layer and it's getting added in. So our county intersect is added in. We're processing our union. So we can come and we can edit this now, and we can change our fill here. Uh, we can just drop this transparency all the way down and close out of that. Um, and now you can see, I'm not sure why, oh, it's pressing the union again because I didn't remove it. So it's gonna add both the layers back in. We could just remove that right away. And now we have those layers um, in there. And so we have our counties, boundaries, um, and we also have our um, riparian areas. Now if we want to provide some more contrast, we can drag this down here. We can edit this again. Uh, we can come and change the fill. 
we can turn this up a little and maybe we'll change this to more of a gray color to highlight that area we're interested in. And there we have our counties with our riparian areas. And from here, we can share this map. We can invite people specifically. Um, we can copy a link and share it publicly. So that's how you can take layers from QGIS uh, and share them in a map. Even if you forget to put one in, it's really easy to go back and add that to uh, a map later. And so this way your map can be living as you do more analysis, you can add a few more layers in there, um, which makes this a really, really valuable tool for sharing your maps with others. So thanks for watching. That's all for today. Like I said, if you want to be notified as soon as new videos come out, uh, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel or sign up for the email list where you'll get even more value. So thanks for watching and have a great day.